am I live yet? Let's check real quick. Um, yep, I am. Okay. So today I'm going to host the Obelisk Top 4 for Obelisk 37. Um, we should be seeing the bracket right here. We are only looking at the top four, which means we're starting with Major Sam against Pike Freak, the Swiss Derby. Then we're going to Nate Dog against Rixa, and then we'll see how it proceeds. Um, yeah. Right now I'm just waiting for the players to start, and I forgot to turn on streamer mode. Give me a second, I'll do that right now. Rixa, please, please stop. Um, okay, sorry about that, but it should be fixed now. Let's see if we have people hosting. We have uh, Major Sam is on Turbo as far as I can tell, and Pike Freak is on his usual relinquished Turbo stuff. The winner bracket has Return and a kind of Warrior deck, I'm not quite sure, from Rixa. If you know Rixa, you know that he usually has a lot of spice in it. Well, at least the kind of the Borg route, like the semi-meta stuff that I also like to indulge in. I'm not sure why the chat isn't showing, though. Hm. It should be. But I honestly can't fix it right now. So I don't know what to do. We'll just try and do it this way. Let's see if they start. Um. Let's tag them both real quick. As far as I can tell, nobody who's left in this bracket has their world's invite yet, so we're probably going to see somebody new today. I'm kind of rooting for Rixar, just because he's a teammate of mine. I'm going to be straight up with my bias here. Also, I do really enjoy the quish decks. I think they're really strong. I'm not sure if... Oh, this it's starting. Let's go. I'm not sure if Pike Freak has the same setup that NB had last FLC. But... I think from watching replays, he had Spies in there, so it's probably a different build. Okay. Both of these players have met already in the first round. Pike Freak won that one. And he gets to start. Straight away with the rituals, taking the quish, and we're going up a start. All right. Nothing special so far, but Pike Freak is already kind of deep in the stack. Let's see where this is going. We're seeing a shoot. Let's hope they show us what they have. Hmm. 
seems to be tricky. Or maybe he's just taking his time taking notes. Starting with the shoot is always great. Having that info is really valuable, especially against turbo decks. Shoot is one of those cards that are just kind of unfair, but it keeps turbo in check, so I appreciate it being around. Kaiku back. Okay. That makes sense. Kaiku is definitely annoying for Menjo decks. They can't really beat it over without summoning Relinquished or a Chaos Monster, which, well, they can't summon Chaos while Kaiku's on the field. So that makes it even trickier. But we have a Void Lady. Okay, it's not Turbo at all, so I was completely wrong. Going to Grave, not Banishing. Okay. So maybe Major Sam is just on some warrior stuff? That's kind of what it looks like. I'm not sure what I saw in the replays then. Okay, we go for a breaker. That should be a plus one, unless this is chainable. Oh, weird thinking. Kind of interesting that you think here. Like you're either waiting for it to shoot or not. Unless you want to torrent here, I think that might be worth a think. But I think you wouldn't want to because getting to banish this dark is valuable to keep Chaos off the field. But you know that Pike Creek has the Relinquished in hand, so getting Chaos shouldn't be too big of a problem. It's a Solemn! Oh, that's... Oh. That is costly. But it would have been a straight up plus one, but now you get Chaos to Pike Creek. And Pike Creek knows the entirety of Major Sam's hand. Sadly, he didn't type it out. So if he does have Chaos, he's probably dropping it. Unless he knows there's a good answer from Major Sam. I also don't know if the Triple Sork was a thing that Envy invented or like made popular. Or if the other Relinquished players have been doing that all along. He might have Triple Sork which makes it very unlikely that he doesn't have any chaos right now. Okay, we're still thinking. To be fair, this is very close to an invite, so I get that people take their time. But this should be kind of straightforward. You have perfect info. We're going for Quish. Dropping Kaiku. Okay, that's a big investment. You've pretty much given up your card advantage to get presence back on the field. This pretty much means that Pike Rick has no chaos in hand because that would have been a way better option for this. Oh, he does have it. Okay, I'm just wrong. Just trying to swing for big damage. It's, I think ring wouldn't be quite enough, right? Actually, it would be. Why does the ping still work? It shouldn't. I have streamer mode on. Why does it still work? Um, Let me try and fix that again. Okay, now it should be fixed. Okay, what did I miss? Okay, I missed the game shot, I guess. Um, knock and probably nothing in the back. Just trying to preserve info, not showing the face down monster. Makes a lot of sense. So I'm still not quite sure what Major Sam is playing. It might just be straight up warrior, but then why would he set in the end? Maybe just because he doesn't have anything that survives the field but it could be anything it could even be a kind of the Borg deck thunder clap so far we've only not seen kaiku and warrior lady i think that's everything not really a lot to go off could even be a return deck could go many different ways 
Return is also one of those decks just like Quish that I feel are just underplayed. Nate Dog is in this tournament and he's doing really well with it lately. I really enjoyed that deck. I played it quite a bit last year. But then I I just ended up turning it into a Thunderclap deck by cutting Return. Okay, Pike Creek probably has a better idea what Major Sam has. They probably have prepared siding plans for this since all of the replays are open and these matches are quite important. Again, let's look at the bracket real quick. They met in the round one, Pike Creek won, and now he's up again. Pike Creek is done. Let's wait for Major Sam. Uh, I'm sorry that I can't interact with chat right now. I, I just don't know how to do it. This sh It should have been displayed on the on the left somewhere, but it didn't work out, apparently. And since I only have one screen, I can't just look at the stream itself. Unless somebody can tell me how to do it on my phone. But I, I don't see the chat on my phone for some reason. Anyway, going to game two. Major Sam is up one, uh, I mean down one, sorry, Pike Creek is ahead, so Major Sam is starting. Let's see what he does. Maybe we can actually tell what kind of decks he's playing now. Okay, he's not giving that to us. That doesn't really say anything. It's not a shoot, unless he's waiting on pots and stuff, which some people do. I mean, I do it occasionally as well. Just trying to get perfect info instead of using it and then getting graced and <laughs> losing all of your info. Okay, Sangin is always a great summon for this. Pretty much unpunishable unless it's a warrior lady and even then it's just a one for one. Just taking some free damage. Okay, what does Major Sam have? I mean, Sangan isn't that threatening. You can probably wait a couple turns until you have to commit stuff. But he's already on the back foot by losing game one. There's the Rota, so it's probably a warrior deck. Might be return, but it's probably a warrior. That's what I'm thinking. The Kaikus definitely help. We've seen them in game one. And we're searching Warrior ID, that makes a lot of sense. Now he has to hope that the back row isn't live, but a Sakuretsu would ruin your day. It's a torrent, that works too. Let's see, search with Sangen. That's fine, probably just getting a Manju. Unless he has really good stuff sighted in. Something like a Spy could work. But setting Spy as the first monster against Warrior is not very good because they usually have Nox and you need Spies to stick around. In general, I'd say that Manju decks are probably worse against Warrior than normal Turbo, just because their siding plan isn't that great and because the Manjus themselves don't do much on the field. Okay. There we go. Manju hitting in. Okay. 
Okay, never mind. I actually see the chat now. This is great. Um. Bit grainy. I'm afraid I can't really fix that right now. I can try to change the latency, but I'm I would have to restart the stream. I'd probably do it after the match. Um Yeah, but I, I see what you what you mean. I I have the same problem when I watch it on my phone. I'll just restart the stream once this match is over and we'll do it again. Okay. So we didn't discard anything, is that right? Just ran it over. Makes sense, you don't have to, but also tribe is something you usually want to keep around, so Sam seems to be out of options. Which isn't good to see since the game hasn't even really started yet. Being out of options this early is a bad sign. The back row is really nice though. There's probably at least one solemn there. Giving you a lot of safety. Yeah, I, I can tell, like, you can see that stuff, but it would still be better if it was clear, right? I think the problem is just that I, I try to have lower latency than I usually do when I stream, just to have better access to chat, and that's probably just a little more costly on my internet connection, which isn't great. That's why it's grainy. But as, again, I'll just fix it after the match, and it's fine. Um, Saku for Zimbira. That is good. Now Chaos is an option for Pike Freak, but it has been before as well. He's dropping the BLS. That's a big one. So this one doesn't even reveal if he does have another Chaos or not, because if this gets cleared out, then he does have the light for the follow-up. There's the Solemn. Now let's see, does Patrick have another Chaos? He does. Do we have another answer? It's another Solemn. Okay, so now he's pretty much dead to ring, but Pike Freak should be out of options for now. There's a Relinquished in hand, so that's kind of dead right now. Something like a Kaiku could almost seal up the game if you can kind of protect it. Anything that lets you stop a Snatch Steal or something like that would help. And you have to finish this quickly because eventually the ring will be drawn. He doesn't have anything else. This doesn't look great. Okay, at least he has a set for safety. That works. I'm wondering what that is. It could be a moth. I think that's the most likely one. Could even be a spy. But I think moth is more likely. Could even be something like a lady or Donny, but I no, actually lady is out already. And I think Donny you would have just used for an attack. Thought definitely helps. I don't think there's ever a bad situation to draw a pot, and I guess unless you have only a one card left in your deck, but at that point the game is over anyway. Okay, so we only know about one quish in Pike's hand because it was searched by Manju. We know nothing about Major Sam.
Here's a breaker. And we're popping. We're popping a Saku, that's good. That is real good. And we still have the knock. So this is going to be a big swing. It's only the serpent. But at least you get to swing. And now I'm even more curious what this face down is. It might still be more just trying to get the option of knock alive for next turn. Could I don't know. By now I'm pretty sure it's moth. So Pykreek's Pike hope has to rest on his face down set. It is the moth. What are we targeting? Knock, that makes a lot of sense. And we're using it straight away. And there's the moth. So Pike Creek doesn't get another light into grave. I'm not sure if he runs one or two, so he might just have the other one in hand. But that doesn't really help you right now, because it's not a proper body that protects you. Okay, we're booking the tribe. Okay, now a ring would only be a draw, but that's better than a loss. So I guess Pike Creek would take it if he draws it. And we're going Vangu. Vangu is just nasty against Rinquish decks. Stops the Manjus from being summoned. I'm actually not sure if their effect is mandatory or not. I'm not sure if that goes through. Let me check that real quick. You can, so I guess this just fizzles. But Relinquish definitely fizzles. Okay, Kaiku is a good drop, and that would just win the game if it runs over Moff. So Major Sam has to hope that this back row is something real. And it's another one. It has to be a Mirror Force almost, maybe a ring just to catch the draw. Kind of surprised he didn't take Tribe. It is Mirror Force. Ah, that has to sting. That has to sting. But this game is almost over. Looks like we're going into a game three. Unless, yeah, okay. Ah, that's harsh. It's the only punish, at least the only one that actually uses the game. Something like Ring would have drawn the game. But Pike Freak gets to have another chance in game three. And as we all know, starting is always a benefit. So he must still be pretty confident. Okay, so we've seen the Vangu from Sam. I'm not sure if he cited anything else, because we've still seen the Sakus, which usually just stick around from Warrior. Makes sense because Pike Freak has shown the Zombira, but you're also not really forced to attack at all. Oftentimes it's just better to stick the Zombira and chill. But against Tribe, that obviously doesn't really work. Starting duo is always great. Level 2, that's interesting, because the Manjo decks don't set that much. 
But I guess just having the option around is still valuable, especially if you have access by rotor. Tossing the Vanga is really interesting though, because that one is a prime monster against Banjo decks. Maybe he just doesn't have protection and doesn't want it to get run over by Zombira, or maybe he has another one. But it's kind of unusual to see people discard the cards they actually sided in for the matchup. And Pike Creek just kind of T sets with two back row, which I guess isn't a T set at all, but we'll take it. And Major Sam just copies it. There's the tornado. This wasn't a new set though, so Sam must have something planned here. Is this going to be a support drop maybe? But what is this face down? It's a Vangu. Vangu still kind of sort of works against spies because the second one at least dies to the Vangu effect but it still doesn't beat over the first one. And I guess that also explains why he tossed away the other Bangu because he had another one. Let's see what we're searching for. I assume it's going to be a spy, maybe a moth. A resolved moth would be really strong. On the other hand, Major Sam only has one more card in hand, so it's probably not that great. Spy would buy you a lot of time, but it also puts a target on its back, and you don't know if he already has it set. And it's going to be the moth. So Pike Creek seems to value that duo, maybe even the upstart. And it should be safer than it usually is in Turbo decks. Simply because mine cons probably don't enter the picture here. And since the other sets have not been answered by Nock, you're pretty pretty sure there are no more Nocks involved. So resolving it should be pretty free. And getting it into the grave is also important just to have that chaos life again. He's already up quite a bit of card advantage, partially because of duo and partially because he just started the match. But if I had to play this out, I'd probably rather 
take Pike Freak's position. Still thinking about this. Probably not sure if he wants to resolve them up at all. There shouldn't be a lot of risk attached to using it here. But what other options do you have? Oh, we have another mob. <laughs> well, we're going for upstart. We don't actually care about the card in hand. We've drawn into Thunder Dragon. Doesn't really help you that much. I guess it gives you chaos live right now. But do you want it? Do you even care about this Vangu? On the other hand, the longer the wait, you, uh, the longer you wait, the more likely it is that Major Sam draws to Kaiku. And with a Moth and two Thunder Dragons in Pike Freak's hand, we don't know if he has an answer to that. And we're dropping the chaos. I think it's probably better to run this over, since he has the access to Prima and Kolf on the other Vangu anyway. And I don't think Major Sam runs Gigantes, so getting this into Grave shouldn't be a problem. So you should probably just take the bonus damage. Unless there's something I'm missing. High Creek still unsure what he's going to do. Okay, but now we're just swinging. That makes sense. We now got a huge card advantage on Pike Creek's side. We know he has another moth, so he can just set it and resolve it for another one. I guess the double Thunder Dragon don't really do much right now, but still, Sam has to play this next turn on three cards. And he already has a big, big problem on the field with that Sorcerer. A tribe could be very useful here. Getting to the lead Sorcerer straight away. But even if you do, you might even want to wait for this other moth to be resolved so you can clear everything at once. But this is tricky. If you're kind of behind already, you can't afford to wait. And we don't even know if he does have it. I'm just speculating. That is a BK. And uh, kind of depends on what he has face down here, but I think there might have been a way to play this where you crash whatever this is into Chaos Sorcerer and then use the BK effect to negate this monster, which is probably Moth. Like it's most likely Moth, like 95%. Also, the card staying in hand for Major Sam is very interesting. Usually, when Warrior players have a card like this, it's BLS. You're also under no threat of it actually resolving, so you don't have to go into duo and shoot it. But you could. The big part is just figuring out whatever Major Sam has set here. It could just be a warrior lady trying to vanish Sorcerer when he gets it, but then why does he summon this, breaker, uh, this Blade Knight? It doesn't really make sense. And also, if this was a warrior lady, then he would probably take the play where he just banishes the sorcerer and then runs over the other moth. I do trust Major Sam to find those kind of lines. Wait, 400? What's going on? Ah, okay. So apparently they missed the BK being boosted. And now it's getting banished. Oh, the face down was not Moth. 
Or maybe it was that he just didn't want to resolve it again. Also interesting that we haven't seen any Manjus, I think, this game. We might have even sighted them out. Okay, so now it's also interesting. Do you try and shoot the Sorcerer or do you try and shoot the face down? It is going to be the Sorcerer. You're not afraid of Duo. You're probably bricked anyway. You don't care. But Pike Creek just keeps building up the pluses. Look at this. This is how many? This is six cards to two. Okay, scratch that. It's seven cards to two. Oh, and we're going into attack. What do we think this face down is then? Or does he have an answer? Does he have something like knock? No, we're just swinging. If this is just a Donny, this is awful. It's Lady. It's actually Lady. Okay, now I'm confused. I mean, I guess in hindsight, it kind of was right to do it this way. Because the face down that I wanted to attack was a spy and it would not have been neg negated anyway. But still, the lady could have prevented the sorcerer from banishing your BK. Yeah, I'm... I don't know. On the other hand, I just don't know what Major Sam has in hand. Maybe it makes sense that way. And we're going up on HP again. But the Tsukiyomi means that we just can we can just keep making plus out of Moth and you have to interrupt this eventually. But even attacking with a lady it interrupts the loop, but it opens you up to Sakuretsu. And at that point you're just open for attacks. But Sam is also kind of desperate at this point. He might take it, he might not. Also, the only plus we're getting is the upstart, so... Sam can keep gaining HP. And maybe he's just fine with that. He doesn't seem to be, though. Unless he just wants to stick this. But I don't think he does. Okay, let's hope this isn't a mirror force. Mirror force would be awful for him. No, it isn't. It isn't. So now do you attack with Kaito? He does. A Saku should be used here. If he has it, he doesn't. So he can't get rid of actual chaos stuff. So with Bayo Tsukiyomi, Paikri can always opt into it because he also has Thunder Dragons in hand. We know about two Thunder Dragons and a Tsukiyomi in hand. And he's also lost a bit of HP now. He's still far, far ahead in terms of card advantage. But 10,000 to 4,000 is quite a jump in HP. We're going for the Tsuk on Kaiku, probably just trying to hit it over. Maybe we have a Chaos follow-up as well, but it doesn't seem like that is the case. So now Lady probably much has to interrupt the Moth loop. But this might be an actual back row. It could be anything. It could be Regeki Break, Ring, Saku. We've seen one Saku out already. It could even be a Mirror Force if it was topped. But Sam cannot afford to play around it. And now Freak is thinking. Because this Vango also stops Tsukiyomi from keeping up the loop. Well, it lets it loop one more time, but Tsukiyomi dies when it hits the field while Vango is on the field. Is Freak thinking about a torrent, maybe? He is. He is. Yeah, it makes sense to use it here. I mean, you do lose your Moth Flip. But you don't really have good targets anyway. And you've just cleared the field and you're already so far ahead. Okay, he doesn't search. Why doesn't... He probably has everything in hand. I think that's his big problem. He's probably completely bricked. 
If I had to guess, like his hand is just two Thunder Dragons, two Relinquished, and he just set the Illusion Ritual. That would be awful. But I, I don't know, I think Ritual decks might even cut down on the Ritual Engine against Acro decks. I don't really know how they work. But if my read is correct, then this should be a safe attack because Pykrik hasn't used the middle one in a while. Okay, this is a book. Kind of works like a battle trap here because Manju is big enough to hit it hit over Sasuke in defense position. And Sam just keeps having this one card in hand. And by now... Okay. This is interesting. Why did he hold it for so long? I was pretty sure it was BLS. MST. Okay. Not a big deal. Again, no search. Maybe actually cut down on the ritual engine has like one quish and one ritual in hand. Which means that most of this card advantage is just empty. It's just the stuff on the field. But I guess if you get out the ring quished via Thunder Dragon, then you don't really care. It's still a card. It's still a monster on the field that stops stuff. He's here in Graveyard. Maybe he has BLS. Maybe he top deck BLS. But if my read is right, then he would just get Quish sucked next turn. Okay, it's just a breaker. That's fine. Breaker is good. It's big enough. You don't really need anything else here. Sam has quite a few good top decks here. Okay, never mind. <laughs> There's the Tsuk. That's annoying. Oh wait, that's still the same Tsuk, right? We knew about that one. Ah. So it almost looks like Bikefree completely sided out his ritual stuff. Because those Manjus haven't been searching anything and there's... Like, we know three of these four cards. But on the other hand, this card has been on the field for quite some time. Maybe that's the ritual, maybe like the missing card in hand is Quish. Or maybe it's just completely gone. I am kind of lost. I don't know how this works. Somebody get NB on. I need relinquished expertise. There's the knock. On Sook. Interesting. Why did he set it? Maybe he's just afraid of BLS drops for refill. Because B if this card isn't live, then it just will just end the game. Okay, the pot is obviously great. Pike is probably still ahead, but I actually think there's quite a bit of comeback potential for Major Sam. But a lot of monsters are out already. Three Vangus, that's... That's a big deal. Maybe the Vangus are the reason that Pike Creek sided out the, the Quish, if he even did. I keep talking about it, but I don't know. But for now, it's just Manju being a small boy beatdown. Another set. Maybe again, just trying to prevent DLS knockouts. <laughs> Heavy Storm, that could be useful. Let's see what this card actually is. I want to see what it is. It's a, it's a ring. That has been around for forever. It's never been used. Huh. I guess they could have prevented the Warrior Lady play that I was suggesting earlier, and that's probably a good reason for Major Sam not to use it. So in hindsight, he's probably just made the right decision there, even though I was harping on it. Kind of have to f hit the face down, I think. Yeah. It's... Oh, that's great. That is absolutely amazing. So now Major Sam, I mean Pike Freak has two Thunder Dragons in hand and we don't know anything else. There's a tribe. Is that lethal? That's 3k, that's not quite. With a ring it would have been. But it isn't. Oh, he tossed Relinquished. Maybe he's literally just on one more Relinquished to get the discard fodder and get Darks into Grave. 
I don't even know. There's the heavy storm and that should seal it. Yep, Major Sam Colts GG. Only one Swiss could have made it to top three and it is going to be Pike Freak. Okay. I'm going to restart the stream real quick, see if I can get the resolution up a bit and 